the rear sight and the front sight and get my sight picture and I put that on the exact spot I want to hit, I'm going to shoot two and three quarter inches low. So what we've got to do then is we've got to start to think about the fact that because this sight sits so high, you've got to make an adjustment in your mind if you're going to use that rear sight. So when you pick the gun up and you have the rear sight lined up, you've got to know that within 25 yards or so, your shot's always going to be low. And within 50 yards, it's going to get a little closer. The objective here is now, I've got my target set up, and I've got three of them set up, obviously. Uh, we're going to shoot at two yards from the target, from the muzzle. My goal here is to aim at the center of the black tape. And then I'm going to use the sights. And at this distance, I want to see where this shot falls. Okay, will it fall two and a half, two and three quarter inches low, as I predicted? And I believe it will. And then I'm going to move back to four yards. Then I'm going to move back to 10 yards. And then we'll shoot at 25, we'll shoot at 50. All right, so I've got my mark right here. Charge the rifle. All right, here we go. Again, aiming at the very center of the black dot. All right, so safety on. See coming up here, basically what I've got is two and three quarter inches. And it's something to consider when shooting at close distances. Now let's move back to six yards. One, two, three, four, okay. So now I'm at six yards, which is a fairly realistic distance for self-defense. And I'm gonna do the same exercise here. Aim at the center of the black. All right, and again, Results are much the same. A little bit of difference. So that could have been me, obviously, in my hold, but still not a bad little group. Again, aiming at the center of the black, you can see the shot is low, and something you'll have to take in consideration at these CQC type differences. Now let me move back to my table. And uh, we're gonna shoot here. I've got a set up at uh, 10 yards exactly. And now 10 yards, I want to make sure that this is an accurate test, so I'm going to shoot off of a bench. And safety's off. Again, aiming for the black of the, the center of the black. Okay, and if Scott can get a good close-up there, you'll see what we're talking about. We've got uh, an exact grouping there. It appears that all of our shots are two and three quarter, two and a half inches lower than what uh, and where I in fact aimed. And it's pretty consistent out to 10 yards. Now, I've got two more targets placed downrange here. And I want to go ahead and uh, verify their distance. One is at uh, basically 25 yards, and the other one is basically at 50 yards. I've got a uh, laser range finder here. It's from Bushnell. It's very easy to operate, basically. Uh, lightweight. I'm going to go ahead and push my button and hold. There's my 25 yards. And while I'm here, I'm going to verify the other target out there. And that's at 51 yards. So, uh, really nice about this thing is there's no on off switch, it just goes off by itself. So, the objective here now is to shoot at 25 yards and see what kind of results we got. And, you know, keep in mind, and I don't know if I mentioned before, that this rifle is sighted in at 100 yards. Uh, so I'm going to be expecting here at 25 yards that it shoots a little bit low. Uh, how much low? Well, that's to be determined, uh, but we'll find out real soon here. So again, I'm going to hold on to the black dot out there. Using a bench here so I can just verify the principles.
Okay. And as you can see, and we'll talk about later, this shot is just about two inches short. So not quite as low as the close targets, but low from the black dot. We'll go down there in just a second. Now let's go out to 50 yards. Let me adjust my scope here if I can. And uh, we're going to shoot the same thing. Again, aiming for the black square. And again, a little bit low. So let's take a walk down range here and talk about what's going on. All right, come on down. First of all, you know, we saw here at these close distances, we're talking about a full two and three quarter inch low from my target because of the fact that the barrel is two and three quarter inches low lower than the front sight. All right, so something to really keep in mind. Now here, that's of course at my three, six, and, or my two, six, and 10 yard distances. Down here at 25 yards, you're gonna see the same thing. Again, got my black aiming dot or square, but not quite a full two and three quarter inches low. In fact, if I take my Leatherman out here, and I uh, use uh, my scale here, being that uh, this is one inches from the center of this guy. It's approximately, oh, let's see, go this way here, uh, two inches, just about two inches low. So not quite as much at those closer distances, but again, something to keep in mind, at 25 yards, I'm gonna be two inches low. And I guess the key factor to remember is that this gun is sighted in at 100 yards. So here at 50, yards. We're going to look at it one more time and see that from my black aiming circle or square should I say, I'm about one and three quarter inches low. So you can see what's happening now. The farther we get, the target is starting to line up with the center of the bore. Okay, now keep that in mind, okay. The, the shot's not rising the shot is actually always dropping out of the muzzle. A lot of people think, oh, the shot's going to rise. No, no, no. The target is coming in line with the bore. Because I've got this gun sighted in at 100 yards, it's going to be dead on at 100 yards. Everything from 100 yards in is going to be low. Because of the fact that the rifle is going to hit here at 100 and it's 50, it's going to be low. So what I'm trying to point out at this stage and this little demonstration is that for accurate CQC shooting, which is in a sense 10, 6 yards, 25 yards, 50 yards, if you're looking to hit eyeballs, looking to be extremely accurate, you've got to start to take into account the fact that you're going to be hitting low at these distances. How low? Well, it depends how close you are. And that's something you've got to learn with practice and a little bit of training. But hopefully in this program, we've been able to demonstrate that for these kind of shooting distances, you've got to take into account, aim just a little high to be able to be exactly in the center of the target. Let's move on to the next segment, which is the sweet spot theory.